New tonight, a man is under arrest accused of sexually assaulting a woman at a senior living facility in Henry County. Joe Hankey explains how investigators say they connected the suspect to the crime and why they're looking to see if he may be connected to others. On Monday, after analyzing forensic evidence in this case, the Georgia Bureau of Investigations received a DNA match. Then this morning, the Henry County Sheriff's Office and McDonough Police say they arrested a 28-year-old man that that DNA evidence links to the attack in February. On February 5th at the Heritage and McDonough Senior Living Complex, security images gathered by police showed a man going door to door, apparently checking for an unlocked door. McDonough Police to 11 Alive, the man eventually entered a room and sexually assaulted an elderly woman. Evidence led to a DNA match in a national crime database. Today, officers arrested 28-year-old Travell Lamar Ferris at a home in McDonough. Ferris's DNA was on file, according to police, because of a previous burglary conviction. During a press conference, investigators said Ferris lived within a mile of the senior facility. We spared no time. We lost a lot of sleep, but we got what we believe to be the person in custody that is responsible for this. Ferris is now being questioned by McDonough police before being booked into the Henry County Jail. In the days after the attack, several business owners and community leaders stepped up and added cash to a reward in this case. And it was allegedly DNA evidence that led to an arrest, not a tip, but the reward reflected the mood of Henry County residents. You know, shocked and appalled, as we stated earlier in our first press conference, that, you know, the, the community was you know, very outpouring and uh, empathetic to the situation. And during this afternoon's press conference, a major with the McDonough Police Department said he could not provide specifics, but did confirm the 28 year old arrested in this case is being investigated as possibly being connected to other crimes in the area and currently community tips are being vetted.